Operation White Noise is taking Rainbow Six Siege to South Korea, where a new map called Tower will test your tolerance for heights, and three new operators will put new gadgets into play. Let's start with Dokebi, a two-speed, two-armor attacker from South Korea, who brings a tablet into battle to disrupt her enemies in a way we can all relate to, by calling them at really awkward moments. Twice per round, Dokebi can remotely hack the phones of every defender simultaneously with her logic bomb, which does a few things. First, it causes all of the defender's phones to emit a loud buzzing noise. Second, it disrupts the defender's camera surveillance, giving the attackers a chance to maneuver without being spotted. Third, it annoys the crap out of every defender until they take a few seconds to turn off that infernal buzzing. But Dokebi doesn't stop there. When she's in a match, every defender that is killed will drop their phone. If Dokebi manages to hack an enemy phone, she immediately grants every attacker the ability to access the defender's cameras. What's a defender to do? Avoid camera sight lines? Shoot out their own cams and deny themselves their own intel? The best way to avoid this dilemma is to destroy your teammates' phones when they go down to ensure Dokebi can't hack them. There are also a few ways to evade her logic bomb, like being near a mute jammer when the hack goes out, or playing as Echo, who is immune to her hacks because the two often collaborate on tech stuff for Team Rainbow. But when it comes to avoiding hacked cameras, there's a new operator that takes evasion to a whole new level. Meet Vigil. This South Korean defender does not like to be surveilled, so he's got a gadget that lets him turn invisible to camera feeds. His electronic rendering cloak doesn't muffle his steps or affect his visibility to the naked eye, but if you're trying to drone him out or spot him on a hacked camera feed, you're out of luck. Affected drones and cameras emit a white light, and Vigil's ability causes a visual interference pattern to appear on any feeds that it's affecting. These cues tell attackers that Vigil is somewhere nearby. As a three-speed, one-armor defender, Vigil has the quickness to cover multiple areas of entry and sow doubt among the attackers about where he actually is. His ability works similarly to Kavera's silent step, so he can't be cloaked indefinitely, and his cloak vanishes when he shoots or does something to affect the environment. Also, like Pulse and his heartbeat sensor, Vigil can be detected by IQ when he's using his ability. Jackal can scan his footprints too, but if you don't have a strong anti-roamer operator in the field, you're gonna have to be extra vigilant. Friendly, last operator standing. On to our third operator, Zofia. This tough two-speed, two-armor frontline attacker from Poland's Grom CTU is as in your face as operators get. Her unique gadget, the KS-79 Lifeline, a double-barreled grenade launcher. In one chamber, she's got impact grenades. In the other chamber, concussion grenades that'll knock the sense out of any nearby defenders and make them all too vulnerable. She can switch between barrels with the press of a button, and she doesn't need to reload between shots. And the thing about those concussion grenades? You can bounce them around corners and land them in some tricky spots before their timed trigger goes off. They also have a proximity trigger, so if they happen to fly near a defender, they will immediately detonate and disorientate. Kind of like Ella's Gersmot mines, wouldn't you say? Zofia and Ella are sisters. They both have a fair bit of training when it comes to being concussed, so they recover 50% faster from each other's concussion blasts than other operators do. The Bozak sisters are tough, but Zofia is so tough that once per round, she can pick herself back up from a down but not out state. She only has one health point when she gets up, but by God, she gets up. To keep up with the latest in Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit us at the UB blog. Op four eliminated.